This is a rather straightforward question. There should not be any trouble answering this at all. Uh, the odd statement here actually even changes the premise, the context of, of the discussion. So it would not be any problem. C is the odd statement. Let's look at the rest of the statements. Statement A says, many speak of their having seen their body from a vantage point as if they were hovering above it, watching all the attempts to resuscitate them. There are two key words here, seen their body from a vantage point. A vantage point is another key phrase. We could take this as important. We could take this as if they were hovering above it as important. And then again, watching all the attempts to resuscitate them. First off, what is resuscitate? Resuscitate is try to bring back to life. Someone who is dying, someone who is, who is in a coma or is gravely wounded, or maybe even who's, who is dead for the moment. There are people who, who uh, have that, their hearts stop. And then uh, when they're resuscitated, they, they come, uh, their breath, breathing stops, their heart stops, their cardiac rhythm flat lines. And then when they are resuscitated, they come, they come back. Many people, among these people they speak of, what is being referred to here is basically an out-of-body experience, an out-of-body experience where it is suggested that the spirit, the soul of the person, it leaves the body for a while and then comes back to the body. While, it, while the spirit, the soul is outside of the body, it is almost as if it is hovering above the body and it sees the body from a vantage point. Another interesting phrase, vantage point. A vantage point is a viewpoint where you can see someone, but that someone cannot see you or they don't know that you're watching. So you are hidden from someone that you're observing. You can see them, they cannot see you. So a vantage point where people were trying to resuscitate your body, you can see them trying to resuscitate, pardon me, not your body, a body, those who speak of, of uh, the out of body experience, they, they say that they were hovering above their bodies, they could see people trying to resuscitate their bodies, maybe medical uh, professionals, uh, ER personnel. They're trying to resuscitate them and they have seen their body, their own body from a vantage point. B takes this argument further. It connects directly with A. Some even describe themselves. So many speak of, some even describe themselves. Even if we didn't analyze the rest of the statement so much in detail, we could see that there's a connection. However, let me warn you that don't necessarily do that. If you think that just reading the first phrase and be just because there is a connection often the odd statement would hide inside of a statement which begins like this which seems to connect with another statement so read the sentences and understand them comprehend them that is essential some even describe themselves as having gone to an indescribable other world and having met and talked with dead relatives and friends encountered radiant beings before being told that they had to go back. So this is the further, uh, you know, aspect, the further extent, the furthest extent one could say of the out of body experience where, where these, these souls, they had actually gone to what is suggested as the afterlife. They had gone there. They had, they had been in this indescribable other world. They had met and talked with dead relatives and friends, encountered radiant beings, light beings, glowing beings, before being told that they had to go back. Well, skip C. D says, almost invariably, the experience has so moved them that even if they were completely ascetic, previously, they return altered, marked by a more religious attitude towards the future conduct of their lives. So basically, this is an uh, after effect. This is a result of an out of body experience, almost invariably, almost always the experience has so moved people that they have turned to a more religious attitude towards towards life, even if they were completely ascetic previously, even if they completely didn't believe in God at all, they have become more religious because of the uh, out of body experience. 
E is very similar. It says there there are now literally literally thousands of people who would previously have been left for dead and indeed were dead but have been enabled to return to a full and active life. Now this gives us actually the overall premise: people who would have been left for dead, indeed were dead, hearts had stopped, breathing had stopped, but were enabled to return to a full life, full and active life. Why? Quite simply because they were resuscitated. So all of this connects quite well, and all of these statements are on point. Now we come to statement C. Particularly fascinating for us are the sleepwalkers or dreamwalkers unable to remember anything the next day. First problem, problem number one. This has nothing to do with an out of body experience. This is talking about sleepwalkers or dreamwalkers. Sleepwalkers or dreamwalkers are in a certain mental state. Their souls have not left the body. They don't. They don't see themselves being resuscitated. There's absolutely no need for resuscitation. Sleepwalkers or dreamwalkers. Usually, what needs to be done is, if there is someone who is a sleepwalker, if you would want to help them, they are sleepwalking. If you want to help them, basically, what you do is you grab hold of them gently and slowly turn them around. and slowly lead them towards their bed if you wake a sleepwalker then that could have that could put uh, that could be hazardous for them it uh, there might be consequences because it's a very jarring experience to wake up to sleep somewhere and wake up somewhere else it it's uh, it's very psychologically demanding it's difficult to process this that's why they say if you if you do have a sleepwalker If there is a sleepwalker, say in your family or say somewhere you live and you know that this person is a sleepwalker and you find them sleepwalking, basically grab hold of them slightly and and uh, softly, not not in a way that they wake up, and slowly move them towards back towards their bed. Slowly guide them, nudge them towards their bed softly. So this talks about sleepwalkers and dreamwalkers. This is not the same. at all as an out of body experience people who were dying had been dead but were resuscitated brought back to life and their uh, their soul had left the body and they could see themselves and they had gone to this other world no connection with that then again unable to remember anything the next day this is also uh, contradictory to the passage because the rest of the statements they talk about people remembering in their out of body experience remembering watching their body seeing their body from a vantage point hovering above it going to that other world they remember all of this after the episode but here after an episode of sleep walking or dream walking people are unable to remember anything the very next day so this is clearly the odd statement we can eliminate a b d and e c is definitely different quite different so the answer is c